Hey guys, Marshall one here and in today's video I'll be doing a review of MP5 SD submachine gun which is in my opinion one of the best weapons in Eskia from Tarkov for close combat of course and if you need light and fast weapon with decent accuracy and damage then this is perfect choice for you. I'm so happy that I'm able to present you this weapon because it's probably one of the most popular weapons in every game and it comes in so many variants. Anyway, in today's video you're gonna be able to to hear all stats about this weapon, weapon history, how it behaves in combat, recoil test, customization and many more. So make sure to stay till the end of this video and check everything. Like that you will understand this weapon better and at the same time decide should you go on and get this gun or you will realize that there are other weapons that you prefer more. Anyway let's start first with history of this weapon. The Heckler & Koch MP5 is 9mm submachine gun designed in Germany, developed in the 1960s by a team of engineers from Germany small arms manufacturer Heckler & Koch. There are over 100 variants of MP5 including some semi-automatic versions. The MP5 is one of the most widely used submachine guns in the world. Heckler and Koch, encouraged by the success of the G3 automatic rifle, develop a family of small arms consisting of four types of firearms, all based on common G3 design layout and operating principle. The first type was chamber 762.51 mm NATO, the second for the 762.39 mm M43 round, the third for the intermediate 556.45 millimeters NATO caliber and the four type for the 9.19 millimeters parabellum pistol cartridge. The MP5 was created within the fourth group of firearms and was initially known as the HK-54. Working on the MP5 began in 1964 and two years later it was adopted by the German Federal Police, Border Guard and Army Special Forces. In 1980 MP5 achieved iconic status as a result of its use by SAS commandos. The MP5 is manufactured under license in several nations including Mexico, Greece, Pakistan, Turkey, United Kingdom and so on. As we mentioned before MP5 has over 100 variants but in today's video mostly we're gonna focus on standard MP5 and MP5 SD which stands for suppressed. All gun stats you may see on screen plus I've added some extra gun info that I found on EFT wiki. You may realize that this weapon has a huge base accuracy which means it's gonna provide you high accuracy during long bursts but the very big minus is that MP5 is effective only till 200 meters so you wanna make sure to stand very close to your enemies otherwise you may suffer high damage loss and lack of accuracy. Since this is 9.90 millimeters ammo it has a a huge bullet drop at the distance and it's losing its power so fighting enemy on distance will feel like throwing rocks on them. The best thing on this weapon is minimum recoil and in combination with high accuracy it will help new users who just joined to Tarkov to use this weapon without any difficult. Less experienced players who are not that well on aiming down the side will find this weapon very easy to use and probably will get a chance to improve their reflexes since with this weapon you will be able to go fully out and still put your bullets on the target. About customization option I think at the moment it's still weak but down on your screen you can see what all modes you can have on your weapon. Try playing a little bit with different sides and check which one fits the best for you or if you're willing to try it with iron sight which are very good in my opinion. 
Also you may buy two variants of this weapon in Tarkov. One is standard MP5 that comes without silencer and another one is MP5 SD, a version that comes with a silencer. In my opinion it's a little bit expensive in compared to standard one but it's way better on the battlefield and it's good for surprising your enemies of course. Both comes with free fire modes, semi-automatic, free round burst and full automatic which is my favorite one on this weapon. Now let's go on shooting range and test all fire modes and recoil. However, I tried this weapon a lot in hipfire mode and it was still effective and very accurate, but I had difficult hip firing on distance, so I recommend you to do this only in very close combat, but the key to get maximum of this gun is to aim down the sight, like that you will not only save your bullets but you're gonna be able to control where they will go. Sound and reloading animation for MP5 are dope, so I believe you're gonna enjoy mostly in firing it even when enemies are not in your sight. Make sure if you are playing with your friends as a squad always to have this weapon at least as secondary because it will be of use in CQB and be that guy who will always go first and clear or check for targets then inform rest of your team. However I found this weapon to be the best at factory and in customs but if you decide to go for building rate everything else is just a waste of time and bullets and you won't have a chance on distance so make sure to bring at least AK as as a primary weapon. So that was pretty much of it for today's review guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video and after all you got closer look to MP5. I hope this video helped you to decide should you go on and try this weapon or simply you gonna avoid it. Make sure to share your opinion with me and tell me what you think about MP5 and to which weapon you wanna compare it. Do you like it or not and the reason why, feel free to share your opinion and thoughts down in the comment section and I'm gonna be super happy to read it. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more daily videos not only about Escape from Tarkov because I'm gonna try my best to record many games and do reviews or guides. Thanks for watching guys, my name was Marshall1 and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.